Hello, we are in Cromarty on the Black Isle and later on today we are going to be taking the King's Ferry but before that we're going to have a wee look around this lovely wee place. Do you have any idea where we're going? No. Great, that makes two of us. So, we said we are going to be taking the King's Ferry today. Why is it called the King's Ferry? Well, you know, I'm really glad you asked. So, in the Middle Ages, the route north uh, followed the coast from Inverness, and there were lots of little ferries mm -hmm. all the way up, uh, including the one here from Cromarty to Nig. Now, in 1179, King William I, on an expedition to crush a rebellion, decided that a castle needed to be built on the north side okay. of the Cromarty Firth and part of the lands that were used to build the castle granted that revenue could be made from a ferry crossing. So that's possibly why it's called the King's Ferry. Okay. Yeah. Or, I know this is really interesting, okay. <laughs> Robert the Bruce and King James IV also made pilgrimages north to Tain um, to the shrine of St Duthic and they took the route and they were kings. So maybe that's why it's called the King's Crossing. I suspect today there won't be any royalty on, on board. I don't think so. Although I can sometimes be a bit of a princess. But anyway, we'll keep walking. And here's our route. It's just a 10 minute little journey across the mouth of the Cromarty Firth. Now this service is operated on behalf of the Highland Council by Highland Ferries. It's a seasonal service running from May to September. Adult fares come in at £8 return and I'll put a link to the Highland Ferries website in the description just so you can get an idea of the other fares available. Anyway, here is our ferry, the Renfrew Rose. The first service of the day leaves Cromarty at 8 o'clock in the morning and operates every half an hour until 6 o'clock in the evening. And the first service leaves Nig at quarter past 8 in the morning and operates every half an hour until quarter past 6 in the evening. And if it's particularly busy, then the service just operates as a little shuttle back and forth. The port of Cromarty Firth plays a big role in local industry and in the Firth are a number of oil rigs. Now these have either been decommissioned or have been mothballed for potential future reuse on the North Sea. So our ferry Renfrew Rose was constructed in 1984 originally to operate a service across the River Clyde between Yoker and Renfrew and then after seeing some service in the Republic of Ireland she was purchased in 2016 by Highland Ferries to operate this route from Cromarty to Nig. The accommodation on board is fairly modest but that's absolutely fine on such a short crossing. If the weather's good then stay outside and enjoy the views and if it's raining well you've got somewhere to shelter for 10 minutes. The vessel is equipped to carry 12 passengers and two cars and it's also good to know that Highland Ferries accept card payments. That's very handy in this day and age. What can I say about today's journey? Well. It's not the most glamorous journey in the world. It's probably not the most exciting thing in the world that you can do. But for me, travel is about trying new things, seeing new places, and that's what we did today. So should you find yourself north of Inverness, don't just hammer up the A9 to catch a ferry to Orkney. Don't just whiz round the NC500, just stop and take the slow road. Try Highland Ferries, take the King's Ferry from Cromarty to Nig. Think about all the people who have plied this route over the centuries, and now you're one of them as well. Of course, visit Orkney, do the NC500, because these are fabulous things to see and do. 
but just try the road less travelled. Anyway, enough of me, I should just catch up with Mrs Tim's travels and see what she thought. Did you enjoy sailing with Highland Ferries? I did, it was lovely. Beautiful day, it's calm sailing. It's couldn't have been better, very yeah. quick. And the company was good too. It was all right. Yeah. Well, um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all your support. Um, if you get a chance, maybe you could give a wee like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We do appreciate all your support, don't we? We do, very much. And we will see you again soon on Tim's Travels. Mm -hmm.